good morning everybody thank you so much for joining me for another monday motivation prayer and scripture session or scripture and prayer session however you want to say it and this morning we'll be focusing on second chronicles 5 13 to 14 and it says the trumpeters and musicians joined in unison to give praise and thanks to the Lord. Accompanied by trumpets, cymbals, and other instruments, the singers raised their voices in praise to the Lord and sang, He is good. His love endures forever. Then the temple of the Lord was filled with the cloud, and the priest could not perform their service because of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord filled the temple of God. I want to remind us this morning that we have the power to shift our atmospheres. We can use our praise to shift our atmospheres. Many of us are walking around and there is a cloud of doubt, there is a cloud of fear, there is a cloud of insecurity, there is a cloud that says that you are not enough and you're, you'll never be enough, you'll never be good enough. There's a cloud following you that you'll always lack, that you'll always be followed by the spirit of poverty, whatever atmosphere it is that you have. And I want us to remember that when we enter a room, our atmosphere, the atmosphere or aura that we have, it introduces us before we introduce ourselves let me say that again our aura or our atmosphere introduces us before we even introduce ourselves so i don't know what your atmosphere is this morning but i'm telling you that through praise you can shift your atmosphere for this season the lord is calling us to be atmosphere shifters we should be able to walk into a, a situation and our very presence should shift the atmosphere because when we go, we will be going with the glory of the Lord. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you that you are the master atmosphere shifter and we are children who are hearers, Lord God. We thank you, Jesus, that you have given us the power to shift our atmospheres. We thank you, Lord, that you inhabit the praises of your people. This morning, Lord Jesus, irrespective of what is coming against us, I pray that we will realize that we are indeed more than conquerors, that you, Lord God, inhabit the praises of your people. And as such, Lord, if we give you the praise and the worship that is due to you, Lord God, not just by our singing, but also by our lifestyle, not just by our dancing, but by the words that we speak, Lord, if we give you true praise and worship, Lord God, that will be enough for the atmosphere to be shifted because it is your glory that is going to come down in our situations and shake things up because it's not by might nor by our power Lord God but it's by your spirit it's your Holy Spirit that will do the work I pray that we will surrender ourselves this morning and make up our minds that our atmospheres of doubt, darkness lack, fear that may be upon us Lord Jesus that atmosphere of uncertainty I pray that as we praise you as we worship you Lord God as we thank you for being who you are because that is what praise is about thanking you for what you have done Lord God thanks for what you're doing what you're about to do and worship Lord God looking to you and not on our, on our situations but looking to you as God of our lives looking to you as supreme Lord looking to you as Alpha and Omega looking to you as Jehovah Jireh. Lord, if we use those weapons, we know that every negativity that is in our atmospheres cannot stand. So this morning, I pray that we'll be strengthened. I pray, Lord God, that whatever is locked up in our belly, anything that is stopping our 
praise. Anything that is stopping our worship, Lord God, I pray that they'll be loose to know in the name of Jesus Christ. As you said in Second Chronicles, Lord God, in your word, when your glory came down, the priests were not able to do their work. So I know, Lord God, that for me, you're saying in this situation that when you come up, Lord, all protocols go aside. When you come, Lord God, in a situation, in an atmosphere, everything is shifted. No, it's not about religion. No, it's not about routines. No, it's not about a program. But when you show up, Lord God, you show off and it will be all about you. So I pray that this morning that we will get that revelation. When you show up, Almighty God, it's no longer about us. It's no longer about flesh. Yes, emotions are good. You gave them to us. But it's not even about emotions. But it's about being in the presence of an Almighty God. Being in the presence of a God who can change a mess into a message. Who can change a test into a testimony. A Lord who seeks to do everything for his glory. So I pray that as we are in our situations, we will rise up. We will rise up Lord God, whatever tools you have given us, our worship, our praise, whatever physical tools, whether it is our voices, Lord God, whatever task you have put our hands to do, I pray that we will praise you with them. We will worship you with them, Lord God, and give you all the glory and all the honor. We thank you, Lord God, that even now our atmospheres are clearing, the clouds of doubt and lack and pain and hurt and the unforgiveness are shifting now. Everything, Lord God, that is holding us bound is being shifted now because we declare that we will reach a level of praise and worship in our lives that will allow demons to tremble, that will allow them to shake, Lord God, and see us but cannot come near us. We thank you this morning, Lord God, and give you all the glory and all the praise because it's already done. In your mighty name, Jesus. Amen.